welcome back everybody welcome back including the wasp who's very busy on my van der denisoni on a dark chocolate star this is the third spike of the season that is now open and this spike is dedicated to all my subscribers if you know the drill by now i try to find an orchid that blooms in a cluster to warrant all my subscribers. And what is this? Hello. All right, minus this bloom, all the other blooms are dedicated to all of you that have stuck by me, that are still with me. And if you do watch this and you're not a subscriber yet, then this one's for you too. And hopefully you will become a subscriber. So let's see what else is in bloom or currently in bloom and who these blooms have been allocated to. All right, all right, all right. Here we are again and Angela A. This here is my second cluster of my Dendrobium cerola. And you have been a subscriber from day one, I would say, maybe day two. And I do apologize for getting back to you so late to express my appreciation. There are certain things that I have been waiting for to bloom that have been allocated. And, you know, orchids do take time. <laughs> really? Yeah, if you didn't know that. <laughs> but here we are, my second cluster here of my Dendrobium cerola. This was tagged with your name on it as a thank you for subscribing to my channel so early days i appreciated that comment so much when you said you were excited to find my channel that means a lot to me simply because there's so many out there and you coming to mine and being so encouraging yeah that's very touching so angela a thank you very much she is not fragrant but she's absolutely beautiful I don't know if the camera is picking up that sparkle in the top petal there. And all the markings on the lip. But this is for you as a thank you. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope that you see this video and know that you have been recognized, acknowledged. And this one's for you. Thank you so much, Angela. Hello, Hamim. Hello, Dolly. I hope that you see this video and I hope that both of you are doing really well. This is the last little spike that came out of nowhere, a small surprise of my area Hyacinthoides. And to say thank you so much for your support and for welcoming me to YouTube in the early days, I really appreciate it. So when she popped up as a little last spike of the season, I thought of the both of you and wanted to extend my thank yous to you for being on my channel and watching my videos and being so supportive. I appreciate the encouragement and I hope that everything is going well in your part of the world and things are settling down weather-wise. So Hamim and Dolly, thank you so very, very much and I hope to see you soon and I'll see you on your next video, Hamim. Paige, please don't laugh. <laughs> okay, so I laugh. I'm asking you not to. Paige, this is what I have to offer you as a thank you regarding my Seidenfadenia mitrata. I know. I wish I could give you more. And maybe I shouldn't even address these blooms at all and make them into a thank you because the thank you is bigger than the bloom show trust me but they are so cute and they are so fragrant 
It's, it's really jasmine, pungent jasmine fragrance, this little spike. I have big hopes for next year, so if you're still around, I owe you one, Paige. And I can't help but have to say um, that run-on sentence there, when I listened back in my video about the roots, oh my goodness, I was mortified. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, clearly I was talking about the Mona Chica, but as it was a run-on sentence, it sounded like I was going to take out my neighbors. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is my disclaimer, no way. But okay, let's get back to here. I mean, I, I hope that these little blooms will for now do, and um, I'm going to put a little note to self on your name for next year. I do believe she is going to be around next year because uh, the roots are extending, they are branching, and I think she's going to be okay in this setup. So we've got the branching going on there. It's still going down into the pot there. Down here, I have another one going down. So I'm done. just a quick update with Zydenfardenia now that we have her out here. Here's one, it's coming up, it has to go down, but things are happening. So Paige, if you're still around next year, I hope I can present you with a much bigger display and something more to warrant how I feel about you being a subscriber and how much I appreciate it, okay? <laughs> but she's so cute. So thank you so much, Paige. And I hope to see you soon. So I'm going to ask two questions and then maybe you know who you are. My second pair of Victoria Regina blooms have opened. So the question is, did you manage to get your liquid silicon yet? And do you think you have found a Leodoro sweet memory yet? And if you have answered those questions with a yes or no, then your name is Trisha L. So Trisha, these are for you. I was waiting for them to open. I think that they are gorgeous. I only have two. I had two before, but this is wonderful. They last about five weeks per pair and I'm fine with that. So I'm hoping to get her through the summer and then we can do more of the same next year. But just a question or two, Trisha. Have you got your silicon? Have you managed to find a sweet memory? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, thank you so very much for all your comments. And thank you so much for the support and encouragement on my channel. I love it. I really appreciate it. I know I sound repetitive in these videos, but that is definitely not my intention. It's just there's only so many words in the English language that I can allocate in order to express my appreciation. Trisha, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I hope that you like what I picked out for you. This Renathera Citrina has been tagged for Fowl House. Thank you so much for following me on Instagram as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. I have to stay a little bit out of the sun for now and I hope that you can still see the beautiful detail on these blooms. Thank goodness you don't have to hear the blooms because I've got Baloo barking in the background. But Fell House, thank you very, very much for your support on both platforms. And I hope that you're not disappointed that this isn't a Fell. But you know, in the world of orchids, variety is the spice of life. So, Renanthera Citrina, gorgeous, gorgeous. She was trying to branch for me this year. That would have been a first, but didn't quite make it. But we have a few more blooms than we did last year. 
and I hope that you like them. Thank you so much, Valhaus. I'll see you on Instagram, and I'll say thank you once again to you there. Jack's Orchid Enthusiasts. This one is my 10th Sologeny Bloom. And I have so far shown three Sologeny Blooms in regular intervals and dedicated them to my subscribers. I don't think a bloom like this could be repetitive, but correct me if I'm wrong. I dedicate this bloom to you. She's the 10th. I am astounded. I was not expecting 10 blooms, but here she is coming thick and fast and it wants to bloom again. So there's an 11th. I can, however, say that this bloom is smaller. The lip is not as dark, but still incredible. Absolutely incredible. So Jack, I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I hope that you like the 10th Sologeny Bloom. And I hope nobody, this is a lot of hoping, but I do hope nobody is getting bored by seeing so many Sologeny Lime Bay Blooms. Thank you, Jack. I really appreciate it. This, for me, is a no ID epidendrum of sorts. And I would like to dedicate these two blooms on this spike to the green nerd, because I have a few things to say that I love your channel. I love the when you have your green hair. The picture on Instagram of the Naked Gardener Day, that was just amazing against the green wall. It was awesome. But best of all, I love the fact that you have a thousand subscribers and you've met that milestone. That is awesome. Congratulations. So the green nerd, I had ordered an Epidendrum Nocturnum and that is what I wanted to get. However, this gorgeous orchid came to me as an Epidendrum Nocturnum and clearly it isn't. So if you have an ID for it, that would be great. Or anybody else, that would be awesome. And so these are two blooms. One is a little bit askew. But thank you so much, Dimi, for subscribing to my channel. And uh, I hope that everything continues. And from now on, it just goes up and up and up. And your channel grows and grows and grows. Thank you, Dimi. And congratulations once again to a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! And that wraps it up for today with my blooms for you. Thank you everybody so much for inspiring me. Thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate everybody a lot. It's more difficult to express in words than when I see your comments down below. And I still have my little unicorn shade gizmo going back there, still working beautifully. Anyhow, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I really, really appreciate having you here and I'll see you next time. Bye.